Today on Ultimate Athlete Magazine's UA Insider. We'll start things off by celebrating the warm weather as we visit the St. John the Baptist crew team. Then we've got a piece on the Knox School, a school that offers a great learning environment and an even more esteemed equestrian program. After that, we'll celebrate the accomplishments and reputation of the name McGowan in Long Island softball. And finally, we'll wrap things up over at Atlantis Marine World with a feature on a student whose dedication to his field may not have to do with sports. Stay tuned, you're watching UA Insider. Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Ultimate Athlete Magazine's UA Insider, where each week we strive to bring you in-depth stories on some of Long Island's most dedicated individual athletes and teams. Remember, if you have someone you think we should highlight, email us at info at ultimateathletemagazine.com. To kick things off, we'll celebrate the warm weather with a relaxing dip in the water. Here's a video on the St. John the Baptist crew team and the love they have for their unique sport. My name is Seth Goroff. I'm the head coach of St. John the Baptist High School crew team. This is actually my first year, uh, second, technically third season because we practice uh, fall, winter, and spring. Basically we have we're a three season sport, fall, uh, winter and spring and uh, fall and the spring we're outside and then indoors in winter and we use the uh, erg rowing machines and then also we do calisthenics like jumping jacks and sit ups and then we also run. Uh, most people don't realize because their first impression is when well, you practice in the winter you're on the water uh, but we actually use rowing machines, uh, ergometers they're called. It's a rowing machine, it helps you it helps you with control, so when you're on the water it's completely different, so when you're on the erg, it just it helps you better, you know, how hard you're pulling, the pressure that you're pulling, and it helps you with um, rate and slide control. Crew is, is known for the longest amount of preparation time for the least amount of racing time. Preparation usually takes all year round between fundraising for food and stuff for our regattas and then between practices. It takes a lot of effort and work. We, we're dedicated and we put all of our hard work into our boats. There's definitely a lot more preparation than competition. We're at practice a lot more than we compete. We have a young team. We have a lot of talent though and so we have time to work on them to, and row them together for a long time to uh, make sure we have co cohesive groups and cohesive lineups. This year we have a new coach, Coach Goroff. He is a very good coach. Um, he's improved a lot of things about our team and he helps us in every way that he can. Crew is just basically like every part of the body. It's arms, legs, back, chest, like everything. You just work out every part of your body. It's it's not all about like power and like working out and all that stuff because it's also a technique and how well you row and how well, well you row together. It's a large part endurance. We race 2,000 meter races, so there's a huge part of endurance, but you need a lot of muscle to have control. Uh, there are a lot of very, very technical aspects and technique can win a race, but muscle can as well. It's um, very physical. We have to prepare a lot. We do intense workouts. Every person has something to work on in the boat and we all work together. And it's pretty much teamwork is what it's all about. When you're in a boat, you have your rowers and your coxswain. Your coxswain is the brains behind the operation. They are the thought, they are the coach when the coach is not there. And then you have the rowers that are the muscle. They are there to do the work and make things happen. But that doesn't mean it's not mental. They have to fight the urge to think, fight the urge to say, well, I don't think this is right. Well, you know what, they don't get that option. They're here to row. I teach my coxswains that coxswains are always right. And if you make a mistake, you correct it in your next statement. Well, you can't row unless you have enough people in the boat. So it's definitely a team sport. I think definitely you have to like, be sure to keep your head in the boat and 
Make sure you focus on power and technique and staying together with everyone because it's very important on winning and being successful. One of my goals when I started coaching here was to bring the kids together. Kids, especially in high school, have a tendency to fall into cliques, fall into their niches, um, and it was no different here. My goal was to bring them together to create one group that is St. John's crew team. And to be honest with you, since I joined the freshman year, I had no idea what the sport was. So I figured, you know, why not try something different and, you know, and see what it is. I love everything about crew. Being with my friends all the time, being able to work together, and most definitely being out on the water is most best part since I love being on the water all the time. I love just to, like, be outside. It's just like, I, and I, also I've just, like, had great friendships with all the kids on the team and all that. It's a perfectionist sport that's never going to be perfected. It's frustrating at times because of that fact, but it's gratifying when you achieve something great. Uh, being able to take four, eight people and creating the exact same stroke to make them row perfectly, it not only looks amazing, but they're fast and they feel great about themselves. And uh, it's just a great feeling to see that your work is uh, paying off, is making them better. After the break, we've got a piece on the Knox School and their equestrian program. Stay tuned, you're watching UA Insider. <laughs> 